Hey everybody, welcome back to the Smoking Android. My name is Jared and today we've got another useful app review for you guys today. It's called Notification Toggle. This is an amazing app guys. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description below for you guys to go download it. You're going to want to after watching this video. So what does it do? Well, if you have a phone like me and you're rocking a custom ROM or even just a stock ROM that as you can see has no um, notification toggles there, you know, Wi-Fi, mobile data, GPS, that, that, that sort of thing, right? You're probably thinking to yourself, ah, oh, man, now I have to resort to, yes, a control widget, a power control widget. And I hate these things because in my opinion, they're just so boring looking. They don't belong in your home screen. They should just be in the notification tray again, in my opinion. Um, and it just takes up so much screen real estate. So, you know, I set out in search of something to rectify this from because I do like this I, I do like this ROM a lot. It's a, it's a great ROM, but the only thing, the only problem is that it doesn't have my notification toggles, which I hate. So how do we fix that problem? Well, notification toggle is a great app to do that with. So we'll go ahead and launch the application. You can see there. And right away, right in the beginning, this is the first screen you'll notice. It says, not enough space on your home screen? Place toggles and shortcuts in your notification menu with notification toggle. Now, if you do have a rooted device, it does claim that um, if you place this in your, as you can see there, slash system slash data, and you actually install it there, it will give you some extra advantages. However, um, I haven't found that I've needed to place it in there or install it there as a quote unquote system application. Um, it still gives me the exact same functionality without doing that. But if you did want to do that, you just use your titanium backup, uh, locate the application and then convert it to a system app and away you go. If you do have any of those problems that you, you know, you might need with, um, uh, with it being the rooted version. So anyways, um, moving forward from there. You got the little arrows there that you can, um, um, you know, start navigating the the different screens and menus to set up this this application. But you'll see here we've got a massive list of notifications. Now you see here also that it says first notification. We'll get to and explain why it says first in just a moment. But you'll see here we've got all these different notification toggles that you can choose from, and that's I mean that's a lot. Um, so just to kind of demonstrate, let's say for instance I wanted Wi-Fi and perhaps Bluetooth. Um, you know, maybe the sound vibrates silent mode. Um, let's try brightness mode and we'll try GPS. Okay, great. Fantastic. Now, as you can see here, all those notifications have been added to my, or I'm sorry, um, toggles have been added to my notification tray and yes, they are functioning. But let's say, you know, some, you'll notice that some custom ROMs out there, you can add so many of these, CyanogenMod Mod being one of them, you can add a ton of um, toggles in your notification tray, but in order to get to them, you have to start scrolling. And when you, when I find as a user, when you start scrolling, and you, or you, at least you have to, and you've got that many in there, you tend to forget which toggles you have in there. So you actually start manually going through the system settings in order to get those, um, uh, you know, toggles or turn things on and off as you need to. So... Let's avoid doing that by heading over to the second notification. So uh, we'll scroll back up to the top here to some of the ones that we don't have in our first notification um, bar there. So we'll go with flashlight. We'll go with NFC. We'll go with battery, USB tethering. Um, and let's pick one more, maybe reboot. All right. Now, if we pull down the notification trays, you can see here those have now been added which is fantastic, right? And of course, if you wanted to, you can add more and you'll just have to scroll to get them, but that's defeating the purpose of this demonstration, you know, because, you know, you may not want to scroll, right? So that's really, really cool. But what else can we do with it? Well, you can get into custom applications. So, and, and it's not custom applications per se, it's more selecting shortcuts for your notification tray. But, so let's say for instance, um, we wanted to access our browser, we wanted to access our contacts list, uh, maybe Gmail and let's say Google Play Music. So we'll go ahead and click back out of there. And now basically you'll notice that they've been added to this list here and you'll see two different checkboxes, right? Now each checkbox is in um, cahoots, I guess. Uh, I know there's a better word out there, but I'm just, you know, on the fly right now um, with each one. So this, so this uh, bar up here at the top there is the first one and you'll see that it's been added. Now the second one is obviously to the next box. If I was to click that box, you'll see that contacts, well, that's actually showing, oh, I added contacts twice, my apologies. Uh, Gmail, we'll do that. Gmail has now been added to the bottom bar. So say for instance, we'll go back and I'm gonna go ahead and remove all the toggles that we have in the second tray there. 
and just make sure everything's removed. Yep, everything's removed. So let's say we wanted to add them all to the second bar. Now we can separate our toggles from our app shortcuts, which is awesome because that actually saves you even more screen real estate. Now you can start removing applications from your home screen and just have them added to your notification toggle. Um, now, of course, just like the top with the, uh, the toggle buttons there, you can actually add as many of these as you want. And all you'd have to do is just scroll to the side to reach them, which is pretty cool. Now, if we're gonna go ahead and move forward and you wanna customize it even more, you can actually change around the icons and colors. You can download alternative icons slash toggles. You can change the toggle order. You can also check out some of the premium features, which I'll let you discover on your own. And then moving on from there, we've got a frequently asked questions menu there, which if you do have any of the, again, frequently asked questions, you can find the answers in there. Now this does have a preferences and or settings menu, if you will. And in here you can do all kinds of stuff like the mess notification priority. Um, you can change the text to color, you can change the font size, how many toggles per line. Um, you can collapse the notification bar once you select one of the uh, toggles and a couple other different, couple other different things like brightness, toggle values, and so on. Pretty cool stuff there. So now, oh, and one more thing you'll notice is that um, even though this is a custom ROM, it doesn't actually have the ability to show me the battery percentage. Well, that's fantastic because it actually automatically adds it to the top left-hand corner there. You can change that around too. You can have that look just like that with no percentage, um, or you can change the color of it and so on. Pretty cool stuff. And obviously this is the little icon to let you know that this uh, application is in fact running in the background. So really, really great stuff there. And um, I highly recommend downloading it. It's free uh, in the Google Play Store. And of course there's, um, um, as we saw earlier, some uh, advanced features that you can pay for. Uh, pretty cool stuff. So again, I, down, I definitely recommend you download this. This is something that I'm gonna be, uh, I'm really happy I've discovered this, something I'm gonna be uh, keeping in my titanium backup uh, app list for a long time because I do happen to come across devices every now and then as well as um, custom ROMs every now and then that just don't have those abilities or the um, notification toggles. So really, really great stuff there. I definitely commend the uh, developer, just a fantastic idea. There are other applications out there that do similar things, but no, does it, Nowhere near does it have the uh, the same capabilities, functionalities, and um, just very well polished application. So anyways, guys, again, that is our review of Notification Toggle for your Android device. It is available on Android operating systems 2.1 and up. So, you know, Froyo, Gingerbread, Ice Cream Sandwich, Jelly Bean, we've got it all, folks. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. If you found this video helpful, please um, show me the love by hitting that likes button down below. And uh, if you haven't already, you might want to consider subscribing for more videos in the future. We've got all kinds of app reviews, ROM reviews, device reviews, and accessory reviews all the time. <laughs> Anyways, thanks again for watching, and we shall see you guys in the next video. Cheers.